All right, so we're live actually, that's awesome. Uh, this is really new to me. I'm doing this for the first time today, but I want to take other language learners on board with my language learning. Uh, I'm happy to discuss anything related to languages and language learning. Um, so right now I'm doing this live so anyone can view me and uh, chat, uh, ask me anything in the live chat. So please do so. I'm happy to talk about any languages or uh, any question related to language learning, etymology, uh, the difficulty of certain languages, of language learning, the ways how to do it, uh, how many languages you can learn at the same time, which languages are similar to one another. Um, tell me about your native languages too. So um, earlier today I have done some lessons on Duolingo from these languages here. Italian, Swedish, Portuguese, Russian and Chinese. Um, you can probably find that, you can find that on my uh, channel here on YouTube. YouTube. Now I'm going to continue with this, but this is just a way to, uh, a topic to have on the live stream. So this is also uh, a trial for me. Um, in the meantime, I'm hoping to get any uh, people watching. And if you are alive, as I said, feel free to ask me any questions. So um, about language and language learning, ideally. So um, I have done some of those lessons, uh, as you can see, from the crown levels as well as the yellow um, colored circles or partial, partially colored rings here. Um, once they're gone, it means I haven't been practicing for a while. So yeah, um, that's, uh, that's fine. I see there's one viewer that's really awesome. Maybe you can tell me where you're from and what languages you speak, um, or if you're interested in learning any languages. So, in the meantime, I am going to click one of these. Yeah, I'm going to do the present in modern Greek. So I've had some ancient Greek. Kolibas. And I'm going to put this a little bit louder. So, um, which is already very different than modern Greek. You know, 2,500 years has done a lot to a language. Kolibas. For instance, um, this is written in, uh, let's say, uh, Roman script as Columbus, right? Similar, obviously, because our letters come from Greek, the Greek alphabet. But the M and P together in Greek here... Colibas. Um, ...actually have a sound like B nowadays. So that's an interesting one. And this um, semicolon is a question mark. So you could already see... Um, what the... Υπάρχετε. I don't know this one. Υπάρχετε. It's a second person plural in any case. And again, a question of a verb. Υπάρχετε. Do you exist? Ooh, very philosophical. From the ancient Greeks, of course. Um, I cannot relate uh, any modern word to that, even though there probably is. Το κορίτσι περπατά. Uh, the girl... Um, this is a new word you can see because it's marked orange. Perpata. Walks. Ah, oh, yeah. Um, I think the word for foot is recognizable. Perpata. P T like and anything in podo podotherapy is related to that. Αυτοί δεν γράφουν βιβλία. Um, so this is. They are writing a book. Um, so, aftoi. This is another interesting one. The second letter here. Afti. Um, I'm saying aftoi, but it's cor incorrect. In uh, ancient Greek, this would be autoi. But the second letter Afti. is pronounced as an F. Can you imagine? So, an original U, uh, Y, is a vowel, like U or U or U, and now it has, it is pronounced as an F, so like a consonant. Um, then T obviously is still like T, and then O E, Omicron, uh, 
E, what is E again? Um, Yota is now E together. So it's not um, uh, the sound oi as in a diphthong, but it's E, afti. Afti. Okay, so here we have an accusative, then grafun, biblia. So, um, grafun. Ah, yeah, sorry, I, um, then. I have to use the negation, because then is a negation. Aren't writing a book. They do not write books. Ah, yeah, okay. So I use this simple, uh, the, the simple present and, uh, sorry, the present continuous, which is possibly correct, maybe not ideal, and uh, it should be plural. So it's incorrect. Vlepo to potiri. Um, I don't know this one. So vlepo to potiri. I don't know. I just know that this is a verb, and then so I don't know. Mm. Vlepo. I see. Potiri. I see. Um. Igonismu de binun krasi. These are a lot of new words for me. By the way, maybe you can tell me if you are viewing this, where you are from and what language you are learning. Gonis. Um, okay. My parents. Um, again, we have den, so that's a, a negation. And then mu is uh, my. So it comes after the, uh, let's say, definite article, e, and the noun in plural. My parents, so Igonis is just parents. Igonismu is my parents. So just like a Norwegian, the possessive pronoun for uh, first person singular, so my, here, mu, also related as it's an Indo European language, uh, comes after the noun. Whereas in many other Indo European languages, Germanic ones, Slavic ones, and Romans ones, and other groups, they come before. So, uh, but now we need the verb. Pinun. Uh, is it to drink? Krasi. Pinun. Wine, yeah. Don't drink wine. The boro. Okay, so here we have boro again. Um, as an MP, it just becomes a B. Uh, I mean, in pronunciation. So it's an imperative mm, a negation. So this is the infinitive. No, is is it? Uh, I think it's the infinitive, or at least in ancient Greek, the ending on omega is infinitive. Bodo. Bodo. I can't. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not an infinitive. I was mistaken because of the exclamation mark. But yeah, the the omega at at the end uh, as a conjugation is always the first person singular. Graffiti biblio. But that's the way you learn it. Um, in a dictionary at least, or a word list, Grafete Biblio. So, you, are you writing a book? You is in plural. Um, and is it an indefinite article? Biblio. Yes. Trechi to alogo su. So here we have su again at the end, so this is su. his or her, so the possessive pronoun for, sir, for third person singular. Um, I don't know these words, or at least I haven't learned Greek in a while, for a while. Trechi. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this would have taken a while for me to guess. Does your horse run? Alogo. Alogo. And so is second person singular here. Does your horse run? Question mark. So. Trechi. 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 Maybe track is related to it. I'm not sure. Alogo. Alogo. What horse words related do we have? By the way, if you know this, when viewing this, please uh, let me know in the chat. Then Iparchis. Iparchis. Ah. Is it also related? Iparchis. Ah. Then Iparchis. This is... Iparchis. Also known to be... Τι βλέπεις? 
Βλέπεις. Τι. Βλέπεις. Πώς μπορείς. Μπορείς. We just had water. It was not to drink. God. Maurice. How can you? The boss is how? Αυτοί κολυμπούν. Okay, so I could write it. Αυτοί κολυμπούν. Αυτοί κολυμπούν. I have to check the word bank. Αυτοί. Α, κολυμπούν. So I can... Αυτοί, κολυμπούν. I can hear now, but I can also practice it myself. Uh, practice it by writing it. Αυτοί, κολυμπούν. So, uh, the U, Epsilon, is now E, κολυμπούν. Okay, so I'm going to try and type it. Κολυμπούν. So, MP is a B, αυτοί. So it's their swim. Αυτή περπατά. She exists. Back to Romans. Αυτή περπατά. Oh yeah, this was wrong. Sorry. Αυτή δεν γράφουν βιβλία. They didn't write. No, what was it? Write the books. Ah, sorry, I'm using a book. Αυτοί δεν γράφουν βιβλία. Ah, sorry, I'm using a definite article. Αυτοί δεν γράφουν βιβλία. It's already 9.30 in the evening for me. I don't know. So, um, this is the amount of points I earned today after... Um, doing uh, those six languages here. So what did I say what I'm going to do next? Um, French, Polish, Indonesian, Catalan. Or any suggestion that uh, you may have. I think there's one viewer now. That's really <laughs> already one more than before. I've never uh, done this before today. So French. Well, that's going to be <sighs> easier for me. Then Greek, so I've already skipped a couple of levels because I've had French in high school, so I can just go down. Let's see what we have. Checkpoint six. So let's eat. Always a nice topic. Si tu mets un peu de sucre, ce sera moins acide. Si tu mets un peu de sucre, ce sera moins acide. So if you uh, put a bit of sugar, um, it will be less, uh, well not acid, but uh, or acid, sour, acid, sour. Acide. Yeah. Okay. Les yaourts nature ne sont pas sucrés. Les yaourts nature ne sont pas sucrés. I think ya yaourt means uh, healthy in Bulgarian or something. The yogurt. Are not contained. Oh, this is a free translation. Pas. Not contain sugar. Oh, plain yogurt isn't sweets. Yeah, okay. So that's uh, what I should have written. Il y a des yaourts aux fruits ou des yaourts nature. Il y a des yaourts aux fruits ou des yaourts nature. Ou des yaourts nature. Okay, I didn't take it properly. Je ne bois que 12 cafés par jour, c'est trop? Um, 
This is an interesting construction because je ne bois que um, I don't know if I'm using it right here. Bois que I am. Yeah, I drink only 12 coffees per day. I only drink 12 coffees a day. Is that too much? Yeah, so it's a word order thing here. J'ai acheté une jolie nappe pour le repas de Noël. So I bought a pretty nappe, a nappe, uh, for Christmas dinner. Nappe. Ah. Christmas dinner, right? Or is it a meal? Repas. For the Christmas meal. And joli, is it pretty or nice? Joli. Yeah. Il est vegan, mais il ne mange pas que de la salade. So here we have the construction for only, right? Il est vegan, mais il ne mange pas que la salade. It's funny because it just happens to be that I'm doing the French exercise now and the Greek lesson before this, and I just heard that one of my flatmates is, uh, has arrived home. Rien n'est propre, ni la nappe, ni les serviettes. One is French, the other one is Greek, and I just realized that now. Um, so if they hear me, they can actually correct me. Um, rien n'est propre, ni la nappe, ni la serviette. Um, nothing is clean, or none of them are clean, nor the tablecloth, no, or, or neither, neither, or the napkins. No, oh. so nap is not napkins, but serviette is. Les anem ni les cerises ni les fraises. doesn't like uh, cherishes, or what do you say, cherries, uh, is this the way you say this in English, Leia doesn't like cherries or strawberries, she doesn't like cherries or strawberries, she likes cherries nor strawberries, ah yeah, il n'aime ni la tarte aux cerises ni les biscuits, Paul n'aime ni les cerises ni les poires. Doesn't like the cherries or the what is poire? Poire. Oh yeah. Uh, doesn't like the cherries. Les Français ne mangent pas que des escargots. <laughs> les Français ne mangent pas que des escargots. So the French only eat snails. So, um, you can also... Ta crème au citron est acide, c'est délicieux. You can also silently watch if you want, and I'm also going to leave this on YouTube. But you can also write and ask anything about languages or share your language experiences. Your cream or your lemon cream uh, is uh, sour. Ah, oh, it's supposed to be sour. Okay, I was like, why, why is that delicious? Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. Pourquoi les yaourts nature sont-ils blancs? Pourquoi les yaourts nature sont-ils blancs? Les enfants ont mangé et maintenant la nappe est sale. Uh, the children ate. And are now. Wait, wait. Hey, maintenant la nappe est sale. Oh wait. And now the tablecloth is um, for sale. <laughs> is um, dirty or something? I suppose. Sale. But that's from context. Ce petit fruit acide n'est ni bon ni mauvais. Which can be a good way to learn new words. 
ce petit fruit c'est ni ni bon ni mauvais j'ai mis du citron dans la sauce, alors elle est acide. Avant, cette jolie nappe était à ma grand-mère. Avant, cette jolie nappe était à ma grand-mère. That's so interesting, right? So, um, if you talk about possession, this pretty tablecloth cloth was my grandma's. Uh, était à ma grand-mère. So, it is literally is to my grandmother's. So, you have a similar construction in Russian, but also in Latin. Um, me est, um, tibi est. So, yeah. Je n'aime ni le jus de cerise ni le soda. From French, obviously, it makes sense if that comes from Latin, but I don't recognize it in other um, Romance languages. Je n'aime ni le jus de cerise ni le soda. So sometimes it's missing a few words in the pronunciation. Je n'aime ni le miel ni la confiture de cerise. Je n'aime ni le miel ni la confiture de cerise. So it um, tells you it's correct when you get like 60 or 70 percent, right? J'en aime que les yaourts nature. J'en aime que les yaourts nature. Les yaourts nature ne sont pas sucrés. Um, no, they had a different words, not the natural yaourts, but like the normal. No. Not the natural, the normal, but the, the white. Uh, what was it again? Nature. The plain? Yaourt. Nature. I think it was something else. The plain. Plain yaourt. Je ne bois que 12 cafés par jour, c'est trop? So you get the ones you had wrong before. You get them again at the end of the, access, of the lesson. Gonna put this in my column. Uh, is that too much? Yeah. Ce petit fruit acide n'est ni bon ni mauvais. Ce petit fruit acide n'est ni bon ni mauvais. Oh, I should say bon. Je ne bois que 12 cafés par jour, c'est trop? Ce petit fruit acide n'est ni bon ni mauvais. Ce petit fruit acide n'est ni bon ni mauvais. Mauvais. Ok. So that was French for today. Um, again, feel free to... Anything, um, about this. Oh yeah, the podcast. I want to hear that, but not now. Um, so, I've done these languages on Duolingo today. What else did I say I was going to do? Um, Greek, French, Polish. Okay, that's going to be tricky. Polish. I have to polish my Polish. Um, I did Polish um, for one week at a more intensive rate. So that was my introduction to Polish, um, but as you can see, I'm not that far yet. I am somewhere at the end of level two from Duolingo's five levels. I think normally they have more. Maybe they haven't developed them all for Polish yet. So I should probably um, take a, another lesson of people as a theme. After the, yeah, I'm getting tired, I know this. <laughs> oh, I don't know this in Polish. Just, um, um, I don't even know if it's, if it's Jak, because that's in Swedish, right? Oh yeah, it's just, yeah. Um, ah, I have, I cannot 
words. <laughs> I have no recollection of this word. Is this also for mail? Ah, oh, it's yes, then. So let's see if the word bank. Yeah, you see, sometimes if you hoover over, it doesn't tell you the right word. It tells you a couple of translations, but not in this context. So in this case, it's expecting me to enter dorosły. Jestem dorosły. Dorosły. And you can leave out the, yeah, the subject. And this little, let's say, L with a stripe is a more like a W, as you can hear. Dorosły. Mówimy o naszych dzieciach. So... We speak of about their children. We are speaking about oh, our children. Oh, ah, yeah. the nasich. Nasich. In Russian, I notice this afternoon is also our. So, um, yeah, first person plural. We are speaking. Remember, okay, I cannot remember how to say see video. No, ah, yeah, so this is also all these letters are typical for Polish, as you can understand. Uh, Moja, this is a long time ago, Mojego. But at least it starts with an M, like in many Germanics, uh, Slavic, and Romance languages. And then this was Jeboczka, Dzieczka. Lubię dorosłych ludzi. I think it should have been Mojega or, ne or not. Lubli? Sorry. Lubię dorosłych ludzi. I love mm -hmm, people. Lubię dorosłych ludzi. He or she loves something people. Like good people. Lubię dorosłych ludzi. Oh wait. I like adult people. So, do you have a girlfriend? Masz. This is boy, this is girl, I think dziewczyna. Ah. Dziewczyna. Okay, so here again, the one is ending on A, the other one on E. Um, with a little thingy. So this is probably an accusative. Hmm, how can I guess? I can't really tell. Because I don't know, that's the tricky thing about Duolingo, I don't know if the accusative is the same as the nominative. I think the first case is an A. I recognize that word, or many female nouns are ending on A in Polish, like in many languages, European. So, yeah, I'm going to guess this one, because otherwise why Dziewczyna. would be there. Zwierzęta lubią wesołych ludzi. Zwierzęta lubią. Zwierzęta lubią wesołych ludzi. Wesołych ludzi. So, is this animals love mm -hmm. people? Like the cheerful people. Okay, yeah. Cool. Czy jesteś Dorosły. Ah, okay. So here, yeah, the ch is like a question. I mean, a particle that um, you put at the beginning of questions like this. Not all questions, like open questions, but I think closed questions. This happens in more Slavic languages. And Esperanto has uh, also had it. So, yeah. Dziewczyna pije wodę. The girl drinks water. This is such a typical Duolingo sentence. 
Um, Ten. I would not be able to write this myself using the keyboard, so I'm definitely using the word bank. If after, let's say, um, 10 consecutive days or, or even a few consecutive days, I am like really set to a language, I might be able to do that. Then with a language like Polish, I would definitely make lots of typos. Um, but some typos, I think like up to one or two typos, uh, the system accepts. But in this case, I definitely need the word bank because I haven't thought about, I mean, seen Polish for half a year or longer. Then, chłopak. Chłopak. Nie. Nie. That's a negation in many European languages starts with an N, in the European, I should say. Uh, lubi. Lubi. Big. Dużych. Psów. Psów. Okay. I think this is... Mój szef to dobry człowiek. My boss. Oh, where's the... Ah, I was going to say, where's the uh, verb? But if you can leave out the verb, it is to be. Like in Russian, my boss is a good man. I suppose, but that's just from the remaining words. Człowiek. 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 Yeah, so the pronunciation is always difficult for me in Polish. So, ch is at the beginning. Then this little L with the stripe, I'm going to say, I, I don't know the name, but what? Człowiek. Człowiek. Dziecko. To. Ah, right. So like in many languages, uh, man is human, right? So uh, homo in Latin, ren in Chinese, and many modern European languages. Człowiek. Człowiek. So I was like, a child is a man? No. Is this the right? Yeah. No. Or do we need this one here? I mean, it's an accusative. No, but I don't think it is an accusative grammatically. On nie ma dziewczyny. Hmm? On nie ma dziewczyny. A bit slower, please. On. On. Nie. Ma. Dziewczyny. Well, I still don't know if she said this. Dziewczyny. Yeah, she said this, not this. Dziewczyna. No, definitely not. He does not have a girlfriend. Um, all right, adults read long books. Okay, I mean, your eyes already dragged to this, dragged to this uh, word starting with a capital. Um, so that's really not actually a good exercise. Dorośli. Read. Um, ah, yeah. Chitaya. Chitaya. Chitayo. Chitayo. So this A with a little thing is oh, like a nasal sound, I think, like in Portuguese, a little bit. Listen. Chitayo. Long. Ah. Długie. Yeah. You sort of recognize an L and a G in it with a vowels around, right? Like longi and long and lang and lange and all the other European languages. Maybe I'm just creating a false friend here because we have a D in front of this and maybe this L stripe letter is really not related to an L in Roman's uh, letter or, you know, the, the other L <laughs> that you also have in Polish. Książki. Książki. Jestem dorosłym człowiekiem. Jestem dorosłym człowiekiem. So I am um, a, a good man, a cheerful man. Oh, adult, yeah, doros, do, doros. Jestem dorosłym człowiekiem. Dorosłym człowiekiem. I have a wonderful boyfriend. Mam. That's important. Wonderful. I am. 
wspaniałego. Wspaniałego. Chłopaka. Chłopaka. Mówimy o mężczyźnie. Mówimy. Mówimy o mężczyźnie. Mówimy o mężczyźnie. So we talk about, uh, that man. We're about a man. Okay, but I thought you don't have indefinite articles in Swedish, uh, uh, in Polish, <laughs> in Slavic languages in general. So, hmm, this is interesting. Well, if you have a question, you can always click discuss and see what other community members wrote. By the way, I became some kind of educator on Duolingo. I saw with a little thing around uh, my profile. Um, Yeah, we're talking about the man is wrong. Um, okay, so they're talking about the cases. Ah, uh, okay. So all is about, okay, makes sense. All right. I hope you could actually see that. I don't know. You can tell me. Uh, yeah, I think you did. I do not see our, our women. Nie. Widzę naszych. Um, women, was it Dziewczynka? Dziewczyna? Or Kobiet? Kobiet is girl, I think. Dziewczynka, daughter. Dziewczyna. Dziewczyna. And this is boy and this is man. Oh, this is Kobiet. Shit. Kobiet. O czyim dziecku mówisz? O. O czyim dziecku mówisz? Czyim? Dziecku. Mówisz. A. What girl are you talking about? I think. O. Czyim dziecku? Mówisz? And then plural you. Oh, whose child are you talking about? Yeah, judge who is child, okay. We do not see our man. Well, that's a problem. Nie. Widzimy naszych mężczyzn. Okay, almost there. Ooh, hard exercises. They are hard. Because you cannot translate them. I mean, you cannot choose from a word bank. They are speaking about these women. I am not at this level yet. Um, we just saw it twice at least speaking. I am Movi. Movi? Oh? I'm thinking Eta, but that's another language. Um, now I'm really <laughs> mixing up languages. On or only? Yeah, but th this is they are, but that's not correct because here it's about they are speaking, so it's just a continuous form of to speak. Movium. Okay, so I need movium. That's the one I mentioned before. Oh, they are they are speaking, so I have to remove not. They are speaking about was oh team. Kobiet. But is it is it really T? Oh, I think it's ta actually. Um because it's uh, feminine. Um no yeah of course this is probably con congruent so it's either ta kobieta or ti kobiety. And about is probably going with this case. Okay. So I'm gonna go for this. Let's see. Okay, 
So um, probably in the discussion that you can explain that all goes with this case. But yeah, um, Duolingo doesn't tell you this in theory, so you just have to learn it by practicing. What case? It's logative. Okay, so talking about. Yeah, so it has this, it's exactly. So I'm just guessing this from other case systems such as Latin and Greek. But the problem with Duolingo is, even though it's a lot of fun, if you don't know that, if you don't have that way of thinking, then how can you know? You can only learn from the discussion form after making a mistake. Um, if you're watching this and you have any comments or questions, then feel free to add those. So now it's asking me again. And now I forgot again. Ah, oh, they have. No, I forgot again. I just, I just saw it, and now we forgot again. Yeah, I'm not gonna remember. I didn't see this even. Copy and share. Okay, so on the mobile, o the copy and share. This is good practice. Probably have another ty typo, and this requires an accent too. Ah, oh yeah, now I put a V because I'm always thinking about movie. <laughs> All right, so that was Polish. That was difficult. That was difficult, and I am getting tired, so that doesn't help. Uh, what other language did I say I was going to do? Indonesian. Well, it's an easier language, that's for sure. You can just uh, flip the flag. You see white, red? Shit. Sorry. Uh, red, white. And what's the Maltese flag? It's also very similar. So I only did those introductory lessons about greetings and restaurants. Places. I forgot a lot, so I should probably finish this one. Well, strawberry. That's funny. Like a loan word. Strawberry. <laughs> from English. Tomato is usually a loan word. I think from an indigenous language in the Americas. Telur. 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 Saya suka strawberry. So, saya, I think it's I. Suka must be like. But this is not a high level. Tomat. Juice jeruk. Um, okay, this is just guessing from the capital letters. Oh, sorry. Jeruk. Juice. Oh. Jeruk. I guessed wrong. Well, juice, obviously. It's a phonetic loan word. Juice. Dia suka tomat. Dia. Suka tomat. So someone likes tomato. What person is dia? She. Okay. I order rice with fried tofu. Saya. So I think tahu? Oh no, that must be tofu. Pesan. Pesan. Nasi. Oh no, nasi is fried. No, goreng is fried. Nasi. Nasi is rice. With? Dengan. 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 
I don't know if the adjective goes before the noun. Goreng. Tahu. Okay. Okay, so the adjective comes after the noun. Saya pesan nasi. I order rice. Tengan with. And then tahu goreng. So tofu fried. Okay. So here. Tempe. Two, tempe. Goreng. Goreng. Same one again. Saya. Now I can practice myself to use the keyboard. Saya pesan nasi. Um, tengan. Um, first I'm going to click it here. Saya pesan, pesan. nasi. Dengan, Dengan uh, tahu, tahu goreng. goreng. Saya pesan nasi dengan tahu goreng. Because that way, hopefully, I can remember it better. Okay, this was diff uh, this was not difficult and very quickly, of course, with those basic sentences. So I'm going to do one more Catalan. I'm doing that from Spanish, I think. So the others are in English as the instruction language. And it's also 10 o'clock, so it's good to actually um, stop this language learning for today. I've done two sessions of five lessons. It's also a little bit more intense talking about it. So yeah, Catalan is a language I know from living in Barcelona, but I haven't actually studied it, as you can see also. So I have a high passive level, reading and being able to listen to conversations, but not so much speaking or writing it. So I need to have the basics also for myself. So I think I can, well, I really couldn't care less about clothing. So let's go for questions. So now I have to translate it to Spanish. Um, so I think how do I uh, prepare the dinner? I have to translate it in English too. I don't know the subject. Prepara. Com. So the food, yeah, the lunch. Okay, so la cena, what I put is dinner. Um, so I'm gonna... Como prepara la comida? So it's like he or she. How does he prepare? ¿Qué es un hombre? The lunch. Um, what is a man? So the que... The accent to the right here in Spanish. No accent here. And hombre. Instead of un hombre. Com es la teva dona? I didn't hear. Com es la teva dona? Dada. Com es la teva Donna. Ah, donna. Like an Italian um, woman or lady. Who is your lady? What is it? One and or two. So we can use the word bank again. Con es a ah, one and. And I made an accent. Yeah, we don't need an accent here. Y tú quieres. And who are you? So in Spanish, it would be like this. On menja llaró. Um, he, does he eat the lemon? No, it, it's not lemon. 
Lobo. So this is a strange construction to me because literally this is what do you speak Catalan? But obviously that doesn't make any sense. So is it why or just do you speak Catalan? Que parlas Catalan? Que parlas Catalan? So in Catalan you have a, an additional question word here. So in Spanish it's just Hablas Catalan. So it's similar in that sense to uh, French when you say qu'est-ce que c'est or not. Donde escribe el niño? In Spanish here, we need to write it in Catalan or click it. Um, on, we just learned for donde, where. Escriu, very similar. Al nen. Also similar. Difficult ones. Um, Escribos, I think. Yes. So this must be again. Okay, with the accent the other way around. Ah no, I think the accent was also to the right. Okay. That's it for today. I think I'm going to call it a day unless uh, my single viewer is going to convince me to do more. Then I can do some other languages that I haven't uh, touched upon yet today. I've done Chinese, Russian, Portuguese, Swedish, Italian, Greek, French, Polish, Indonesian, and Catalan. Um, the most uh, all of them from English except for Catalan. So, yeah, I think I could do German or Esperanto or I don't know if there is a viewer now and where from. I think I actually skipped many of the checkpoints because I had German in high school and at uni. Um, but that doesn't mean that I actually achieved this level, it just meant, means I checked those checkpoints. But I will probably make lots of mistakes in the cases. So, yeah, but I can save it for another time if. Um, Should I do another language? Awesome. I can write it in here, you can write it in the chat if you like. I can do one of those or talk about language in general, language learning. I want to do more of these videos um, also to push myself to keep track. But otherwise, I'm just going to stick to this because I have two sessions of five languages and it's already 10. And I also want to relax a bit before going to sleep. So, yeah. Well, thanks for watching. And um, if there is no question or suggestion um, right now, then you can always leave it later. Thanks for watching and um, well, hopefully see you with my next language lesson live stream. Bye.